in that last video we bought one of these cameras well <laughs> with my luck this had the same error my grandma's had when she gave me her original one this ain't the original one that filmed my uh my uh, home movies from when I was a kid mm. ain't the original um, but I did find a new use for this camera storage facility <laughs> you even fit a tape in there of course you can because you know, look at that safe keeping no one would never know what you put in this they would think it's a crappy old camera uh, to be fair, I didn't know that there was a lawsuit against these back in the early 2000s. Literally, people, when they first bought these, um, basically, uh, they would have them for two weeks, and then they would fail and have the same safeguard mode error, and it would never be fixable. So, yeah, this one still has the error encoded in it. It's almost as if, if, it, if this camera finds an error... It encodes it in the memory and keeps it there, and you can't get rid of it. Because this has no mechanism in it. There's no reason it should have an error. And the capacitors in it look good. Yes, this has service mounts in it, but, yeah. Eh. You know, it, it's okay. I'll probably get another one since I didn't get to archive this. But, uh... We're going to venture off into the mechanism today. We're going to figure out why these things fail. So let's take it apart. Alright, let's uh, start by getting this circuit board off. It's a shame too. I'm not going to buy another one of these. I'm going to buy one that's slightly newer and maybe that lawsuit came over and they fixed their shit. But, uh, let's take this off. This is your mode encoder switch. I did read online that, uh, somebody said it could also be the mode encoder switch, so we'll look at that later. Alright. What's this? Huh. That looks awfully loose. I wonder. Look at that. That looks loose. Has no torque whatsoever. I wonder if that, if they did this on purpose. This don't seem the, like the right fitness of Bell. That don't look right. Look at that. That's sloppy. Huh. That's pretty sloppy. That might be why it doesn't work. Hold on, let's, let's take this out. Come on. Come on out. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, deformed. I have a belt right here. Let's see here. Can you fit a rubber belt in this? Yeah, you can. Look at that, it's much better. Well, there's your easy fix. Put a rubber belt in there. You're good. Do a torque test. Eh, if I get another one that has that air, I might uh, put a rubber band in there, rubber belt, and see what it does. Alright, let's see what else should we take apart. Oh, uh hmm. This one's also broken. Yeah, I tried to fix it. Not a good idea. Let's uh, take off these screws. take this plate off because we're gonna salvage some parts off of this too. Okay. 
as our head drum. Might as well take this out. That could be a good part. The goal is to see what has caused the oh there's a screw right here. Let's take that out. that off. Um, the screw down here. And the screw down here. There we go. And another. I wonder if uh, this will come off. That's a good part. Maybe a new cassette carriage. Nice. Now I can see everything better. That's actually fairly easy. I like that. So here's yeah, I had to bend this to uh, look at that. That sounds great. Let's take this off. Um, don't sound good. This is fairly easy to take apart. That'll look good. <laughs> Let's take this one. If I'm taking apart a little mechanism. <laughs> Neat. Yep, I can take this off. This will be, uh,
go. I want to get to this. Let's uh, take our plastic little guide thing out. Uh, shoot. Yeah, let's take this out. save these little washers. Yeah, I'll just save them. Yeah, I'll just save them. So this is a little piece of plastic. to there. That's like a little switch blender. I can put that like that. this camera was used very much or or any like at all doesn't seem to be So we got that guide off. 
This one probably want to come off too. Oh, actually, let's uh, take this off. I'll take this off too. Using a wire to uh, using a wire to um, uses a braking mechanism. Nice. And there's a worm gear, which is jammed. No surprise. No surprise whatsoever that that is jammed. Let's take this out. There we go. Take that out and yeah. Nothing but parts for this one. There we go. Now that. Is it? Oh, I didn't see that. I did not see that there. So uh, So this is basically what it is. You basically have your your guide rollers. And they ride against here, and they go to where the head is. Then you have your other one, which uh, goes to here. Hold on, let me just. Then you have your guides right here. Oh, this one's backwards. So you have your guides, and then you put your tape in. They go there, and. Right there. And that is how your tape moves. This plastic piece might be thrown out. It's not really worth anything. Well, how I see things is I when I have some something that's broken and I can't fill. Oh, hello. Pieces in there. Oh hell, this is like a mesh. That's a dirty screw, ew. Take that out. So this is your teeth mesh. It also keeps this from flying out. Definitely got to take that out. tool for this but oh, that's greased up the grease on this is still pretty good there's a little washer on there too so there's your hub That off. Can't leave that on. <laughs> there we go. Let's take that shit. Oh, good. There we go. This has a brass, um, this 
has brass bearings. This must have been... Oh yeah, look at that. This was a very... Now I can see why my grandma paid $500 for this thing. This thing barely has plastic parts in it. Oh, there's that. Got her motor. Can I... Look at that. Nice mechanism. So this is... So this is your teeth. This is what... Oh, I see. So that goes there, and... That would go there. Or there. And that would go right there. And that would go... And stop right there. That's neat. Cool. Hmm. And that would go into here. And that's your stop point. Now this one, I think its stop point is broken. But yeah, that's how that would work. That's pretty neat. <sighs> well, now we're getting to the nitty gritty of this. Stop this from uh, functioning. It's possible. Let's see some of the mechanism work. Okay then. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That could have stopped it. Somebody said dirt, and this is pretty dirty. I don't know what this does. This must be for, um... This is for the eject mechanism. Okay then, let's just take out these then. got a spring in it. I ain't doing that, but there's a spring in there. Okay. Look at that. That's, that's pretty amazing.
This could easily be fixed, just gotta, you know, bend it back. Good as Let's take this out. There we are. Got ourselves a timing gear. Yeah, it looks bent. Look at that. That don't, that don't look right. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. Uh, okay. Let's take this out. You know, think of these things like a clock, in a way. This thing reminds me of a clock. Oh, it's got all these pinions and shit. Yeah. Reminds me of a clock. Eh, an old timey clock. Got her audio head, and that's pretty gungy. That also could be for me. Got her audio head. <laughs> These electrical parts. Let's take more of this out. Let's take this out. Okay, I'm going to leave that in. That's fine where it is. QAR02. So this is from 2002. It spins nicely, so it's fine. You never know. 
never know when a part is needed because nobody makes these parts anymore. So my job is to put them in bags until I need them. That's what I do. Shit, I had it all the way over here. I had it right here, not there. Okay. Just in case. Just in case. Got that off. Look at all those screws. I must know. If I could uh, put this back together, how I found it. Here, a possible culprit. Yeah, possible culprit. Damn dirt. These mechanisms. These. These mechanisms were designed to take a beating and to last forever, but their problem it was that the safe search that they have encoded in this shit is, uh, is what caused them hell. And these mechanisms are very sensitive to whatever the hell they touch. Because if it touches something that it's not supposed to, like, say, a freaking, um, a freaking piece of little dust on the gear, it'll just go in safe search mode and say, nope, not safe. That's what caused JVC so much hell back then. Was there, was there damn safe search mode. There we are. Last part, and this thing is uh, all taken apart. So just say, fuck it. Yep. Well, that is a whole mechanism taken apart, but you can see this thing is pretty high quality. This is a, it's all a piece of metal. And uh, here is your parts. This is what makes up a JVC VHSC camera. All these little gears and shit. If I get three likes in this video, I will do a video of me trying to put this mechanism back together. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck to me. But uh, let's take apart the mode encoder switch. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that this has something to do with it. I may be wrong, but we'll see. And that's not going to work. Take that off. This is not going to be easy. They did not make this easy. Ah. There we go. What is that? Move and cover switch. Show me the goods. It's definitely not made to be taken. Wait, is this even wired? Okay. I think. Oh. That, uh. Yeah. Definitely not the mode encoder switch. No, that's definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, the mode encoder switch would definitely not be the problem. Those things are brand new, like the day they bought. 
and this yeah I'm not seeing anything that would cause that so that's not a problem although I broke it so it's another thing going for me possibly it still works only it's fully destroyed hmm. Yeah, but look at that. That's definitely not going to cause a problem. You're supposed to push on the bottom to uh, get this out. Yep. But Definitely not the problem. Hopefully it's easy to get back in. Right. Clean it. So, yeah, that's the end of the world. So, uh, oh. So, that is how you take apart A mechanism. Although I may not even be able to put this back together because I don't think I have all these red washers. But I'm rich with these parts, so I could sell them on eBay if I wished. I'm not gonna because not worth it. It won't be worth it. Oh, here's the cassette mechanism. Here, look at that. Look at that. Neat. So, uh, yeah, it'll be, these will all be going in a bag and being put away. Thank you for watching my first teardown video. I don't have anything else to tear down, I don't think. That's mechanical, because mechanical stuff is interesting to me. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.